Hi guys, chatting real time, another bloody Johnny Deep. Hello, he said. I said, Johnny Deep, huh? Any relation to the deep from the boys or just an unfortunate lack of depth in the cranial area? To which he responds, hello, it's me, Johnny Deep. I know you are my fan because I can see your likes appear in most of my posts. I know you will be very surprised why I write to you here, but don't panic because this is not an imposter. Most of my fans are angry and have brought my attention towards imposters. I'm here to warn you and help you to be safe from imposters and to help bring justice if you are a victim, which is the format. I said, oh, I'm not surprised. Only about the lack of depth in your cranium, Mr. Deep. I'm fully cognizant of all the imposters. They are ridiculously easy to spot, as they are nonsensical and basically moronic. And when he didn't come back, I said, Do you know the famous song Shallow that you performed with Lady Gaga? It's quite appropriate in this case, isn't it, Mr. Deep? To which he responded, Usual format. I have talked to my management several times to help notify my fans on my official page, but management don't listen. That's why I took it uh, up to myself to warn my fans in whatever way I can. I even create a flight team that analysis daily on how to overcome all this imposter. Now I need your cooperation and I also want you to join the fight to make our society normal again. Are you with me or not? The rally, the call to fight. So I posted the Johnny Depp. PSA. And in response to that whole nonsense, I went, with a Mr. Deep? Sure, why not? This will be fun, won't it? Especially as you don't answer basic shallow questions, Mr. Deep of the shallow cranium. And in response to the PSA, he goes, yes, this was from the fraud department of my team. And yes, this is the only way I reach out to some of my fans to know how they really feel about me. And perhaps I'll disable this account at moan timing. So I went, oh, moan, like deep grass. Yes, tell me more. The depth of your logic is truly astounding, Mr. Deep. To which he responds, I was in a chat with my personal assistant earlier that they are so many fake profiles of me every day on Instagram and other social media. Big gap. Have you come across any of those imposters claiming to be me or using my identity on Instagram or and other social media? Resorting to format again. So I said, oh, you're about the 60th one to message me just this week, Mr. Deep. But somehow the most ridiculous. Isn't this fun? But impervious to irony and sarcasm, he goes, I would really appreciate your assistance if you can send me the details of anyone contacting you with my identity. Then you block and report the account. I will immediately send the details to my team fraud department. To which I said, oh, I report every single one and delete it after I'm done. So I don't have details, Mr. Deep. I know, I know. It's complicated, but dig deeper and the depth will reduce to shallow. It's only logic, right? To which my Muppet said, I don't get you? Question mark. To which I responded, is that a question or a statement, Mr. Deep? I didn't think it was too difficult, but given the shallowness of the given cranium, I'd best just sh say to never mind. It's beyond your ken, Mr. Deep. I, and then because he just kind of pondered on it, I went, I report every single one and delete them. Is that better? To which he responds with, okay, that's brave of you. <laughs> I don't know why. I said, to report the fakes. Seriously? Unironically? Wow, was all I could think to say, because this guy's a potato muppet. What are your experience with, with those imposters claiming to be me, he said, resorting to the format again. I said, I'm blown away by the lack of depth in this conversation, Mr. Deep. And in response to my experiences, I said, same as right now, almost word for word, funnily enough. Isn't that strange? To which he responds with, really? I said, though they have more depth. And in response to really, I said, oh, yes, really. Then I continued, I think the request to move platforms comes next. Correct, Mr. Deep? To which he said, see, it's fine if you don't accept the fact that it is me writing you right now. It's nice hearing from you, okay? I'll say you're sounding smart, not not enough, because you're panicking, he says, trying a little bit of um, gaslighting. To which I responded, I have no idea what that word salad of nothingness is meant to mean, Mr. Deep. Want to try that in English? 
And in response to, I think the request to move platforms comes next, correct, Mr. Deep, elicited a response of, if you want me to continue writing you here, then it's fine by me. Completely wanting to make sure I believed him. To which I said, awesome, I'm sure. Can't wait for the depth of the conversation, Mr. Deep, can you? Wouldn't want to be shallow, you know what I mean? To which he says, wait, if you, uh, truly you don't believe it's me, why then are you writing back? You know that's unwise. Light dawn on marble head, but very late, because, you know, there's nothing in there. It's very shallow and empty. To which I responded, why is it unwise, Mr. Deep? And in response to, you know what I mean, he simply goes, no, because at this point he had no idea. In response to no, I said, didn't think so. I must say that light dawned on Marble Head a little late, but better late than never, correct? And in response to why is it unwise, Mr. Deep, he said, why will you give imposters a chance to write you more that two or three times to say what exactly? Fishing for information. To which I responded, oh, many reasons. The depth of the reasoning is very deep and profound. To which he, you know, sat on for a little bit and came back with, once you observe an impersonator, it is wise for you to report and block that account ASAP. So as the imposter cannot go to other people's DM, said my imposter and scammer, who couldn't understand why I would continue chatting with him. I said, oh, I don't lie. I report every single fake on here, Mr. Deep. And I have reported him, but I doubt he'll get taken down. To which he responds with, please, I'd like us to get rid of all those imposters. I and my team alone cannot do that without the help of the fans. Hoping against hope that the last five minutes just vanishes. To which I'd said, oh, I'm doing my part. Don't you worry, Mr. Deep of the shallow cranium. Don't you worry your little head about it at all. We are legion. We are many. To which he responds with, thank you for your love and support so far, love heart. Which I said, oh, I adore JD and his works, Mr. Deep. Don't you? Though it appears I'm more in depth with the knowledge, but that's okay. I'm sure you'll absorb it at some point. And he's about to write now. I wonder if I can trigger him. Yes, you seem very nice and smart. <laughs> oh my God. If you don't mind, I will like to keep in contact with you and get to know more about you. To which I simply said, I'm sure you would, Mr. Deep. I'm sure you would. Just saying now, is he going to ask to change platforms? I decided to poke the bear. And I added, given the profundity of the last seven minutes, it would only add depth, wouldn't it, Mr. Deep? Which we'll see if he sees he... Uh, has not been active for a little bit. He keeps coming and going, so we'll see. I'll quickly add this at the end. Meet Lily Oliver, official Lily Oliver. Um, Oh, okay, never mind. Here we go. So his response to given the profundity of the last seven minutes, it would only add depth, wouldn't it, Mr. Deep? He then goes, I don't understand. (laughs) Oh, God. To which I responded, no, I didn't think you would, Mr. Deep. It's fine. You can always utilise Google for the bigger words, Mr. Deep. Because I think the word profundity melted his brain. We'll return to Lily at the end of this. He seems to be active currently. I would say he's potentially being very unsuccessful in trying to get a, a client. And his response was, okay to being told you to utilise Google for the bigger words. Oh, no. Potato. I wonder if this will qualify for an idiot of the day category. I think so. So he's sitting there just pondering because he doesn't know how to go further. So we will do Lily Oliver now. Good day. I'm Lily Oliver, a member of Kevin Creekman Social Management. I have no idea who that is. He's asked us to do a survey of Instagram and other socials with the new, most frequent comments, posts, tags, etc. on his profile. And, op- and upon completion, you emerged as one of the most frequent. It's his personal request that I get in touch with you. He is like to have a personal conversation with you and express his profound gratitude based on his busy schedules. I've been appointed to reach out to you. Oh, there we go. That's all right. I'll get back to him in a minute. It's just not long. I said, who the hell is Kevin Creekman? Why are you saying I've uh, you've seen uh, likes on his profile from me when I don't know who that is? Why are you lying? To which she says, sorry, ma'am, Johnny Depp. 
and then proceeds to send the exact same format but with member of Johnny Depp's social management, at which point I just went, nah. So I just started laughing. I said, you messed the hustle up, didn't you? How, Dear Lord, how moronic. To which she went, sorry about that, ma'am. My bad. And I went, just tell me what the scam is. Spare me your format. You've already made a mess of it. To which the scammer went, oh, I'm sorry. You want to talk or you already don't want anything to do with me? This one's used to rejection. To which I just went, you've, you're uh, clearly hustling for money. So why would I want to chat with a liar and someone who gets money via deception? You can't even get your hustle straight, shaking my head. Make better choices with your life. And they poddled off. So this one is very used to um, rejection. Now we'll return to Mr. Deep. He goes, what's your name? After the okay, because he's obviously can't figure out what to do. So I said, Cat, what's yours? And watch him obviously double down. He knows this. Um, he knows I know. And I know he knows that I, I know whatever. <laughs> but this is just nonsensical and ludicrous. You don't know my name, he said. So I've decided to call his bluff. I said, why would I, Mr. Deep? You don't even know who you're imitating or have understood much of anything the last 15 minutes. You're clearly not. American. Watch him get incredibly unironically indignant now. And his response was, I was? <laughs> to which I said, you were what? Please do try and keep up, Mr. Deep. And then I decided to add, it's not that complicated, though maybe you're out of your depth, so to speak, pun intended, which obviously he's not going to understand. While we wait for his absolutely deep response, this is the account, Private Johnny Deep, if you guys feel like you want to go and um, harass him, unfortunately, you have to follow him to chat him, so I'm so glad he actually hit me up first. To which he responds, you're making things complicated here. To which I responded, by speaking basic English, Mr. Deep, if you say so, dot, dot, dot. Thought I'd prod a little bit. I said, I know it's 8.30pm over there. Maybe you need to rest that head. The depths can give headaches. And I added, bereft of the use of formatted paragraphs can be challenging, I know. So we'll see his response. He won't know what the hell I'm talking about. I barely know what the hell I'm talking about. This guy is so moronic. Over where? Came the response to, I know it's 8.30 over there. So I called his bluff. I said, where you live, Mr. Deep, by my educated guess. Going by your language style, linguistically, you're West African. Correct? Let's see what he has to say about that. Then I added, you're clearly not American, which he's seen immediately. So thank God he's got no other victims. Uh, so in response to, okay, fine, if you say so, after I said you're clearly not American. Sorry, guys, I lost my place. There's been about five minutes. I said, oh, I know so, Mr. Deep. Everyone you're chatting with knows so. And his response was, okay. Very sullen, young man. So in response to okay, I said, yes, it is okay. It's fabulous. It serves your stated purpose of ridding the internet of thieves and liars. Correct. Mr. Deep, let's see if irony and sarcasm go over his head or whether he actually understands it. I don't hold much hope. And his response to that was, what's that for? <laughs> he doesn't understand. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, God. I said, what's what for? Speak plainly and with coherent English. I decided to poke more, so I added, I know English can be difficult, but my understanding was that you're all taught it at primary school, correct? So, the only assumption left is that you never completed your tertiary education. Why not, if I may ask? And I want to see what he says, because I do believe that Johnny Depp dropped out of school in um, high school. I'm going to double check that first. So, no, Johnny Depp did not go to college. He dropped out of high school at the age of 15. So he did return later to continue, but was told not to bother. <laughs> okay, so good to know. To which he responds a little bit brattily. Why are you asking all these questions? 
rather than just Googling if Johnny Depp went to college like I did. I said, I thought you wanted to chat. My mistake, Mr. Deep. I'll not ask you questions you're unable to answer due to lack of deep knowledge. How about that? To which he now proves that he is from Nigeria by saying, Smile! To which I responded, Ipso facto, not American. Ready to drop the rather shallow pretension yet? Which he obviously isn't. He's going to stick to his guns because they're all fucktards. Is it that you don't have anyone in your DM to chat with or what? He said, completely confused why I'm still chatting with him. To which I responded, oh, I have plenty, Mr. Deep. You're just entertaining. So why are you stalking my DM, he said. I said, the lack of depth, understanding and basic cognition is illuminating. To which I responded, you messaged me, remember, Mr. Deep, not the other way around, to his cry of, so why are you stalking my DM? <laughs> I think he's getting rather filled with despair right now, which fills me with joy. I added, you chose to do this. You made that life choice. Don't blame me if you can't keep up. At which point he's probably going to try and report me for harassment, but oh, totally worth it. <laughs> Can you guys believe there's another Johnny Deep account completely separate to his? Oh my God, this is insane. These guys are so stupid. We finally got a response. So when I finished saying, you chose to do this, you made that life choice, don't blame me if you can't keep up, he goes, smile, with a laughing emoji, because, yeah, scamming's hilarious, and I'm losing my sense of humour. He continued, what do you want me to do now? And in response to smile, I said, yeah, because lying is hilarious. And in response to what do you want me to do now, I said, get a real job like the rest of us, which listen to the prevarication now. There is no jobs. The government sucks. Yada, yada. My country's terrible. To which he says, do you have one to offer? Again, this one in response to get a real job. To which I said, if you can get $250,000 to move out, move out of Nigeria, sure. So let's see if all pretense has dropped now. I'm almost done with this guy. I just can't anymore. Then I added, but you won't change because you find this amusing, lying and getting money by deception. And badly too, I'll add. And to, you know, do you have a job for me? <laughs> God, just give me one scammer that isn't a fucking total sociopath. And proving me correct, he just goes, lol, with lots of laughing emojis. Mm, I'm really losing my um, sense of humor now. To which I responded, are you totally devoid of any conscience? Who told you I'm a Nigerian? He says, trying to fish for information. To which I responded, it's an educated guess. It isn't difficult to ascertain Mr. Deep off the shallow brain. And I added, you're so far out of your depth, you might as well be drowning. And then make better choices with your life because I'm, I'm about done with this mugu now. We're hitting the 18-minute mark, 19-minute mark, and I've, I'm kind of over it. Now he's getting boring. Point of correction! I'm not Nigerian, he declares. To which I said, West African at least, maybe Ghanaian then. Semantics, either way, you're hustling, which is shameful. I added, making fake profiles in order to lie and deceive innocent people is despicable. Your profile is also not... Real, you know, he says. <laughs> to which I responded, you think? Call me and see. Unlike you, I don't li I lie and deceive people online. You do. I don't know why I had a stutter then. Let's see, maybe he'll call. Call you where, he said. To which I said, right here. Or is your phone so old and cheap? Ah, there you go. So have you ascertained that I am not a fake, unlike you? Mr. D. <laughs> Coward. To which I just added figures. You're all chickens. I'm interested in this, please. Ha! 
in the if you can get two hundred and fifty thousand to move out of Nigeria, no, nah, I'm kind of I'm nipping this in the bud. And in response to figures, you're all chicken. He goes, "Stop that, please." So I responded. You're joking, right? You really think I'd help someone who lied to me for 20 minutes? An insane amount of question marks. To which he goes, I'm sorry then. Note that then, meaning he's only sorry because I said I wouldn't help him. I said, I'm done with this. Thanks for the last. Make better choices with your life. Goodbye. I wonder if he'll beg. I think he'll beg. Help me do that, please, he entreats me. All right, tell me your sob story that's going to be all lies nine out of ten times, same as all of you. (laughs) So there's a group of you muggles out there. You guys are all fucked. Hmm. You're all disgusting. I can hear all of you out there cackling and laughing like this is fucking hilarious. (laughs) Yeah, I'm done with him. And in response to you don't care about what you do, he goes, I do. And you know you can help a soul if uh, you uh, really tell want to. Jeez, that's hard to read. To which I said, I don't help thieves and liars. I'm into painting, interior, and exterior design, aren't they all? I said, you're ridiculous, nonsensical, and remorseless. I said, I'm sorry. To which I said, no, you're sorry you got caught. To which he says, and I believe you can help me if you wish, please. I said, I'm not going to debate morality with a thief. You don't have the moral high ground. This is just plan B of the scam. Give it up. It's done. And in response to, no, you're only sorry you got caught, he goes, truth be told, I'm really sorry, please. To which I said, yes, I could tell by all the laughing. Shake my head. Go away. It is not, I'm really sorry, please, cat, I'm not really like that. I said, the video is long enough and the audience will get bored. And you're not, though, referring to him being sorry. And he responds to, yes, I could tell by all the laughing again. He goes, I'm alone, just on the street. The laugh is coming from passers-by. No, it wasn't, guys. I said, you're only sniffing around because I mentioned money. Have some self-respect. And then I said, you even lie where you're from. You've lied this entire time. Go away. He's now going to change what he was going to write. Okay, it's fine, he said. If you can help me, even without money, please, so far as it is, is impact me. Yeah, huh? How would that be possible? Cat, please! And then my response to, if you can even help me, but it doesn't involve money, I said, that's nonsensical. And I added, you're doing this for money. There is no friendship here. Excuse the spelling mistakes. I'm trying to type really fast which we're going to leave here. He's only going to beg. I'm not, I'm done arguing with him. Um, He can have fun talking to himself now, which I'm just going to tell him that quickly. I added, have fun talking to yourself. I have more important things to do now. Goodbye, Mr. Deep. We cross posted. He just added, okay, I know I've lied to you. I know. And I'm really sorry about that from the depth of my heart. I'm sincerely sorry. Even if you'll not help me, please forgive me. Uh, It's going to be one of those. So there we go. We're going to leave him to despair and to beg. So like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, guys. Um, I'm not even going to... uh, Honestly, it is for the friendship and forgiveness, please. No, I'm done. Uh, Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, guys. Um, I, I will be doing all the viewer stuff, believe me. It's Thursday here, so it'll be on the weekend um, or maybe tonight. Um, So more stuff coming. Um... Love you all. Talk to you guys later. We will leave him, Mr. Johnny Deep of the Shallow Brain, we will leave him to chat to himself. Bye.